we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy. In terms of the feeling uh, of interconnectedness, yes. how would you describe it as a feeling, as a felt experience? What does it actually feel like? I don't know how to answer that. I mean, what I f it's like, you know, if you were to say, what is the sense of smell like? How would you describe that to somebody who doesn't have a sense of smell? I, I, I do have to say that most women experience that, but I don't think it's biological. I, don't, I think men experience it too. I have a little grandson. He experiences that, but the training that men receive is to inhibit that sense of connection. Women carry it in society, but men... Uh, are every that's a a sense that they you know are taught out of w women there's a great line from Marge Pierce who's a feminist poet she talks about you know having to unlearn not to speak and men need to unlearn not to feel you know and one of the I think men have come a long way in the last decades in that regard but one of the areas that where, where men haven't unlearned that enough is that sense of connectedness. That you, if you do anything, you, you, you're affecting other people, and other people are always affecting you. You know, if I'm, if I'm, uh, you know, if, some, if there's a kid over in Oakland, I mean, here we are in Berkeley, so it's less violent here. Sometimes somebody comes across the border, and some of the gunfire happens over here. So, and, but there's a kid in Oakland, he's in a gang and he shoots, you know, uh, another kid on a street, or he, or he, he's shooting and somebody gets killed by accident, you know, that that's that's affecting me, you know. Not only if I see it on the news, do I do I want to cry, but it it's also just part of our shared atmosphere, you know, uh, the sense the sense of our sense of safety is lessened, but but it's also that um, li any any time you you live in a society that that has that sort of violence, uh, you, you know, your own uh, ex experience is eroded by that violence, and somehow and and how you know how have our failures contributed to a kid? joining a gang and, and wanting to shoot. What, what, how have we, all of us, contributed to this kid being in such a sort of state of despair or, or uh, lack of life purpose that, that the only excitement he can get in life is to go and shoot people that, you know, the only sense of, of worth that he can get is by, you know, shooting, feeling like a, a, a big man shooting people. And we haven't given him any other way to 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 uh, you know to feel his value and to feel that he's part of society and and uh, so that's a, a, a you know one example of the of the way that we're all connected and and you but you you take it in say if you would feel it when you're on the new you're you're watching the news and somebody you never knew is shot you know f by some kid who's not even grown up enough to vote or drink and and it, it's just a tragedy all around and you just want to cry that's that feeling of connectedness right there so how would you compare that uh, uh, that connectedness with as a progressive value with conservative uh, values I think uh, the conservative values are very they're much more judgmental. Um, I think of them as connected to the sort of fire and brimstone that you know Cotton Mather uh, participated in when he preached uh, in, in in Boston and you know in the uh, centuries ago before we even ha before the United States was even founded. Ironically, the the United States uh, was the founders were deists and they. They were. They didn't buy into that fire and brimstone stuff. They they, <laughs> they were opposed to that that sort of uh, very harsh uh, religious 
approach. And I I don't uh, you know if people want to um, believe in in literal interpretations of the Bible and be and and live uh, according to rules that don't reflect modern life and I think that are very often um, tied to the oppression of women by the way um, that's you know I, I don't want to be judgmental of that uh, it, in other words live and let live if they if they, but but what I object to in the right wing values is trying to enforce those values on the rest of us because you know America is, is a plural society and uh, that's how, also one of my values that goes along with connectedness and the complexity of life is that you know we have many different ways of life here, and uh, we need to, you know, tolerate them and even celebrate all the differences.